True Detective Season 4. I've stuck with it so far. I think I might be five episodes in or four. I'm not too sure how many episodes I'm in so far. Although I do enjoy one of the lead actress in this show because she's got some really cool face piercings that I would um, kind of like to get myself. But, you know, it's probably a little bit too... Um, I'm probably a little bit too advanced in years to get something like that nowadays it's probably something that i should have got when i was way, way younger but apart from you know the actors being fairly decent i gotta be honest i don't really know what's going on and i'm kind of getting tired of it true detective season four night country is not going anywhere it's not going anywhere nothing's happening um there's it, it the plot point or the basic premise of true detective season four is that it's based in alaska um there's some sort of issue going on with um people dying in mysterious ways there are young inuit girls being abducted and being found murdered in places and then there's a symbol that the murderer or whoever's doing it is leaving behind which is similar to the symbol they left in season one. So they're trying to do some weird pull or reference or tie-in with season one, but it doesn't really make any sense. Um, the landscape and how they're depicting life in a, you know, in a small um, village or town in Alaska is really interesting. Yeah, I could, Im like, I would always, when I'm watching a series, I'm kind of picturing in my head, like, or imagining in my head, sorry, what would it be like to live in that type of area? Like to live in those type of places all year round? Like what would your life kind of be like? And from what they're depicting, I guess it's kind of what you'd expect, right? In any small town, everybody's kind of in everybody's business. There's a lot of free time. There's a lot of drug abuse. There's a lot of um, alcohol abuse because there's not much to do. Um, you know, career prospects are basically nil. There's a lot of politics, you know, whatever it may be. But it's not really going anywhere like nothing's actually happening we're no closer to finding out why the scientists from some center all passed away we're nowhere close to finding out why a inuit girl was found dead with no tongue again spoiler alert if you haven't watched it before but i'm sure you're not going to watch it anyway because it's fucking true detective season four and it made me think or it made me go back to check out some clips of true detective season one and season two and season three and season four and it's pretty impressive how that whole series has gone sh has gotten shitter and shitter over the years the quality has dipped so much to the point where i'm starting to think maybe they should just end the true detective series franchise whatever at season four however this season ends maybe this should be the last one because it feels like it's not really going anywhere and it feels like it's never going to match up to the flipping iconic season one which i'm sure most of you have watched before with um what's his name matthew mccon matthew mcconaughey in it like obviously a, a legendary episode a legendary story season altogether and definitely something you can easily go back and watch nowadays but i've been trying to watch season four and it's really crap again it's not going anywhere um i feel like it's spinning its wheel and i don't know i just don't know what to say about it but with all series one of the really annoying things when it comes to series for me is that i feel like whenever you've invested too much time into something you always feel like you have to just finish it just for the sake of it because you already invested the time why would you then like stop now that you're already three episodes in, you might as well watch the next six or something. So I'm kind of in that position now where I'm thinking, you know what, even though I don't want to watch it, and even though it's permanently wasting my time, I'm just going to stick with it and just hope that it gets better in the end. But so far, it's not looking good. I'm not going to lie. It really isn't looking good. Like, um, there are some interesting, you know, threads that they're trying to pull at, which might go someplace. But for the most part, I don't know. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> nothing's really being explained and i really don't know what direction is going to go in i think i've said that maybe seven times already now but that's the place i'm at the moment so true detective season four night country has really been a bit of a disappointment what's been a really good thing though that's not been a disappointment so far has been trigger point season two this is a uk based tv show so if you're not from the uk you probably won't care about this show but season two of trigger point or trigger point in general is an amazing series for me personally it follows this woman called lana washington played by the actress vicky mcclure who is a bit of a legend here in the uk she stars in a lot of like police dramas she was in line of duty and a few others and she just plays that kind of badass you know women detective that is always trying to prove herself in the force 
and you know always tries to like do things in our own way doesn't follow the rules then gets reprimanded that gets proven right then her family suffers personal relationships you know that kind of like complex character right that you all kind of know and love in series and she's amazing she's honestly a uk fucking legend um she deserves you know all the all the awards but trigger point is really like my type of thing because it's basically like dad type tv it's all action it follows her as lana washington and she's a bomb disposal expert and she basically goes to um you know places where there are bombs and shit and basically tries to um um, what's, what's the word called deactivate them i forgot what the actual term is right with ieds and shit so there's a lot of terrorism plots involved there foreign domestic loads of stuff about corruption socioeconomic things like all interesting kind of backstories and of course her own personal relationship with her kind of on and off you know hubby and boyfriend this guy here that's featured in the picture and so far what i've loved about season two is that loads of people die already I think three or four people from the series, again, I'm not going to say who, but have already died. And I like that because it puts some stake. It, it, it kind of puts some stakes. It kind of makes a show worth watching because you never know who's next a bit, who's, who's going to get blown up next. <laughs> Obviously, the main actress is going to be in it, but I love that, like, people close to her, like, you know, people that she gets close to, um, people that she maybe doesn't take, you know, for, she takes for granted, they end up kind of passing away in the line of duty, and it kind of causes her to go into more of a, into a shell. There's depression issues there, anxiety, you know, um, what's that thing called? Um, imposter syndrome. Um, there's a lot of misogyny involved in there, what, you know with the workplace of her being a woman it's an amazing series again it's not complex it's not super deep you know the, there's not much depth to a lot of the characters the storylines aren't that amazing but if you want to watch something that's good just a you know entertainment in the background active watching or no non-active loss whatever that kind of term is where you put stuff on the background i really do recommend you check out trigger point it's fucking great i fucking love it um it's out now i think season two all the episodes are available now you can either check it out on itvx or you can find it on all the kind of illegal sites that people watch stuff on but i absolutely love trigger point two trigger point sorry season two i've enjoyed it it's absolutely brilliant and vicky mcclure is a fucking legend uk legend uk stand up please if you may please if you may